so hey guys welcome back today in this video we are going to see that how we can edit or update firebase data from the firebase firestore database exactly that is what we are going to do and let's get started without any further ado so in the previous video we have created this data block.jx jsx and now we are going to see that how we are going to see for the edit functionality so for that simply let's create our what do I mean by that FB edit or our edit component okay I will just simply name it FB edit and uh, dot JSX and if I enter let's just do RFCE and it's now created fine if I go to data block dot JS now I need I have a button to edit right when I click on this edit a component should come where I should have an edit like an, a, an input element to give a new name a new if I click edit here it should come below this and if I click on edit here it should come below it and like that it should happen and for that I actually need the use state because I would like to say if that particular use state is there then only show me that component okay fine and now what I'm going to do is let's just import the use state hook and uh, here it is and then let me just simply use that use state hook and its name will be edit box I am just randomly naming it no intuition behind it and initially it is false when it is true show me the edit box after here so what I'm going to do is simply add a ternary operator so I'm going to say if edit box is true then and only then I'm going to say and and then and only then add this component that is fb edit and actually we need to pass in some data there so what is that dev equal to dev which is the same dev here and then we actually need to pass a function with, to close this edit box and for that we can simply send our set edit box itself so that when we make it false it automatically hides itself and that is pretty much it and that is pretty much what we are going to do now if as i save it what will happen let's just test it out so i'm going to add an h1 and say hi okay and now if i click on edit here let me just refresh it once okay it's not working i don't know why we have fb edit and i have data blocks.js okay I, I haven't added anything here so i need to create an on click function right then only it will do something when i click on it else it will not do right i'm such a silly guy i don't know why but i am and here what i'm going to do is i'm just simply saying set edit box to be true that is it nothing else now it should work when i click on edit i have high here and when i click on edit i have high here when i click on edit here i have high here and uh, that is fine now what we are going to do is we are going to this fb edit and here we are going to add our input element and our new stuff so here let me just simply add a p on uh, let's uh, add a paragraph tag of fb like edit box that is it and now what i'm going to do is uh, we are going to add an input element okay input is enough because we need to do do the same stuff right input type text and then placeholder not here we need to have it here placeholder should be equal to what guys it should be equal to name and then on change we again i think you have you would have guessed it we again need something similar use states here also to actually update those names so what i'm going to do is go to this okay it should be an fb create right so let i'm just directly copying them because the use states in this component we cannot use the same use states in some another component without exporting them right so that is the reason we should haven't wish we will not have any error here so i'm going to have we added the jsx here again i'm going to import my use state my beautiful use state hook and then i'm going to simply paste this stuff here and on change we're going to have something like this what is that on change we have simply something like this and then i'm going to say set name to we need to have add the e and then what i'm going to 
e dot target dot value so the same stuff we have already done previously and uh, i'm just going to copy paste it and uh, change this to set skill and then in place of the name i'm going to add the skill here so these are the two things we have in our database so that is the reason i'm just simply adding those two now we actually need the button to click uh, to like say to update so i'm just saying button and update text within it and now let's see what will happen and we have our edit box right here oh great and now what we have to now nothing will happen when i click on update or something so i need to do create a function right that is obvious we need to create a function but before that what i'm going to do is i have imp i have exported this right i have exported this dev and set edit box so what i'm going to do is import them i'll do dev and then i'll do set okay i'm doing it in the wrong place what will happen with that i will just cut paste that and uh, control x save fb edit dot jsx we actually need them here oh great and now what we have to do is when i click on this let's just say on click what you have to do is set edit where is it it is not there set edit box to false back again and now it should uh, hide the box when i click on this update button and it does and now we actually need to do the update stuff so for that we again need to create a function which we are doing in all these episodes so i'm going to do let's just say function and then i'm going to say edit doc and again it's an thing to be done uh, a new doc should be there so i'm just simply saying updated doc here so i will use some shortcut updated so now it should be ring in your head that yeah this is updated it's not spelling mistake it's just a short form a very lengthy short form right <laughs> and then what i'm going to do now is simply use the ref container again so for that i actually need to import it so let's just do import ref from app.js and here let's just do ref dot doc and uh, what is that updated doc that updated doc we have to create within this function and that we will do that don't worry so i'm not going to do the same mistake i did in the previous episode so i'm just simply giving the id right here i'm not going to do that later on anymore because i know i will forget it and dot id great now after this what we ha have to do is simply dot update and within this update function we need to set our updated doc and after that the same thing we should have it here also i am going to fb create copy this guy and paste it in the delete function also okay let me just structure this function so that it looks better and then fb edit also here also we need to have the same function and let me structure this one too and uh, our function is complete yeah it's complete now we just need to uh, play with that function here so what i'm going to do here is i'm just simply going to say edit doc and now we have to pass in the new doc details so name is the name you state we have created above then what we have our skill which is the skill you state above and uh, after the skill what do we have we have our id and what is the id the id the id will be same i'm not going to change the id so i'm just simply saying dev dot id for this id only i have imported this dev from the previous component and that is it now this thing should work guys and now let's just see whether it's working or not so i am editing elon i will name make his name elon musk and let's change his skill to app dev to let's say backend engineer actually i don't know what elon is most skilled in so i'm just randomly making it if i click on update you see it became elon must backend engineer and elon is changed here where is elon here it is elon musk okay it is also updated here and that is very much it 
and if I click on the delete function to just test it, it is working fine. If I click on this one, this is, okay, don't be confused with these two. This is for create new dog. This is for updating. So I'm just simply saying Ashish, Nalana and Skill, let me make myself a pro web developer. Okay, I don't know whether I am or not, but I feel it. And the pro web dev, it is updated here also, I guess, and yeah ease so that is it guys thank you for watching i'll meet you again with another beautiful episode just like this one what it is about okay we have done edit we have done create we have done read we have done delete also so all the cred functionalities are done that is create read update and delete all the cred functionalities is done and what in the next part that is a secret. So guys, I will meet you again with another badass episode. Until then, bye guys. Thank you for watching.